are now joined by Mui Maju, EVP for Engineering and Cloud Services at OpenText. Mui, welcome back. Thank you very much, Tony. We've heard a lot about OpenText OT2, and yes. last year there was the talk about Project Banff, so this is Banff becoming reality. So tell us, what, what is OT2? Yes, so last year at Enterprise World, we announced the event that we are working on a project called Banff. Today, Banff has become a reality, and the product or platform name is OT2. OT2 is a modern, hybrid platform that OpenText will use going forward to develop microservices, RESTful API. It's a single unified data model, a single unified tech stack. Many of the components are open source, easily developed, built on standards. It leverages Magellan tools, it leverages microservices that are developed by every one of our product areas, like content services, Documentum, our extended ECM technology, media management, every one of our platform will deliver to OT2 microservices with the objectives that OT2 will allow our customers to decide the destiny of how their enterprise or government entity will operate. They could choose to keep some, some of their workloads on premise in their own data centers. They could choose to use some of the workloads in the open text cloud as managed services or they could choose to adopt some of our SaaS technology and some of our SaaS applications and run in the cloud fully. Wow, there, there is just so much there to unpack, and we, we can't unpack all of it. You know, the, the hybrid, the microservices, yeah. uh, the fact this is kind of all encompassing, but it mainly feels like this is a very modern way of serving your customers. Absolutely. Right, So, and you've had to kind of change as a company, I guess, to, to get to that point. That's, yeah. a, that's a hell of a transition and a, a great offering. Yes, yeah. it is. We spent a lot of time in building the architecture and the standards around OT2. What the objective is to make it easier for our partners and our customers who use our products and our solution to decide how they leverage the cloud, manage services, or remain on-premise. Okay, so the big promise for your customers is, well actually I remember you saying on stage that you're going to help customers build new IP on top of OT2. Yes. So this is about innovation and, and what absolutely. else? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's all, our products become much, much better when our partners and customers are able to develop their own IP that brings the excellence that they have put in their enterprise into the solution. Okay, and in terms of the maturity, we're hearing this, this name for the first time, yes. but, but who is really doing this now and how do you see the next year going? So we have many customers that have started adopting OT2. Okay. Uh, we are adopting internally at OpenText OT2 where some of the OT2 applications like Contract Center mm -hmm. is being deployed at OpenText in production to support all of our global workforce uh, that do contract uh, management, uh, contract renewals. Many of the other applications will quickly be also deployed at OpenText as we deploy in customers and governments. Okay, Mui, we're going to be following this closely, so thanks for Excellent. explaining OT2. Speak soon. Thank you.